Got a few more sections up here. We need to finish, get everything buttoned up, and then hopefully it's time for lunch here soon, because you know a guy like me always has to eat. Hey y'all, thanks for joining us here on Long Farms uh, this morning. Uh, we're out here working on some fence. Um, got a new little uh, invention or way of stretching this wire. Um, granddad and a good friend of his come up with. So I ain't gonna show it to you just yet. So just keep watching. Um, <clears throat> here's one of the fields. Uh, this is probably our best hay field here. Um, I got it spread um, a couple weeks ago uh, when I that couple videos ago spread the urea um, I believe we spread it at the about the optimal time uh, especially right in here in a lot of areas south of the field uh, the fescue in uh, most spots is uh, nearly hip high so we're we're hoping on a, another good hay crop this year because um, if y'all been keeping up previous videos, um, we've been trying to clean out uh, that hay barn right over there. Um, so we're needing a good uh, first and second cut hay this year to make sure we get it uh, filled back up along with the hay shed or barn over where we keep all the equipment. that new little bench I was telling you about. This is simple little brackets. I've got our um, pry bar that we use quite often and uh, just in two welds. But uh, as soon as we get this fence unhooked I'll uh, I'll show y'all uh, how everything works. Oh um, I haven't had it in previous videos but we used to use some two by sixes and bolts that the bolts would alternate sides on the board going down um, so we're just gonna try something maybe a little quicker and easier when we're building fence so i believe it'll work
was gone, Dad. I'm working on putting the clips um, on the T-post to hold in that old wire. Um, got a few more sections up here we need to finish, get everything buttoned up, and then hopefully it's time for lunch here soon because, you know, a guy like me always has to eat. Get some see if there's another screwdriver. You go out there at the other end and I'll get out there and start working on these. Yeah. Alright. Good thing my shirts with pockets you can put stuff in them. I believe we are done uh, with this part of the fence here um, since we was just overlaying uh, the fence that woven wire over top of the bob wire um, we're just putting a clip of course at the top and then down at the bottom because uh, we're mainly just for like a bluff just to kind of keep calves from um, possibly going out under that fence or keeping uh, anything else from coming in but if they do come in they're really going to have to work for it we probably got about uh, three quarters of the way down through here of course in the last video um, if you hadn't watched it uh, go back and watch it where I uh, was using hog greens to connect those cattle panels uh, the ends together and also to the bob wire fence um, then we stretched this uh, 330 foot roll of uh, woven wire we picked up uh, from our local co-op. I uh, got it stretched all the way down through here. I'm guessing we may have, I don't know, about 70, 75 feet down through there left to do. But uh, we've got another roll at the barn. Um, we're not going to stretch it out today. This project's done. Um, get everything packed up here and head back to the barn and hopefully get some lunch. What the fence man's hands looks like. Your dad would say, if your hands don't look like that after building fence, and you're doing something wrong. That or you're smart and wearing gloves, but most times while building fence it's just easier to work without gloves and uh just deal with little cuts and all that uh, something i just now realized that uh y'all may not have uh, caught in our uh, videos and especially videos while uh, working the cattle 
that are uh, prefert panels that we have. Uh, we have them all um, upside down, and that's for a purpose. Um, not only because they're taller than a normal gate, but they're of course stronger. Then we turn them upside down like that and hook them up just like a gate and we can uh, swing them back and forth just like a normal gate. So we're not totally crazy, we're just uh, rather inventive, I'll say. Anyways, uh, again, thanks for the support and uh, as y'all already know, catch y'all on the flip side.